the time is here for service providers to start preparing their edge computing strategy and size the transformative potential of 5G. Service providers have the opportunity to leverage the possibilities for new services and use cases and need to develop an edge computing strategy for both 4G and 5G optimizations. So this opportunity to create bigger, better innovations can only be realized when service providers explore new business models, like creating their own app ecosystem or partnering with industrial and manufacturing leaders. So service providers need to consider how network optimization can enhance their services, their products, their infrastructure and the end user experience. An edge architecture can help solve numerous challenges related to data security, application performance and latency on communication and is a core component in the network operations of the future. Today I'm here with Joao Montero Soares and he's the strategic solution manager for distributed cloud at Ericsson who's going to share his insights with us. So why do service providers need edge computing? Service providers need an edge computing strategy in order to optimize their networks, improve end-to-end -end network architecture flexibility in order to meet high requirements on bandwidth and low latency. And this is crucial to address the introduction of new services and use cases in different segments. For example, automotive, consumer segment, or of course, industry and manufacturing. And which are the key players in the edge computing ecosystem and how can service providers take part in it? Service providers today sit on a set of critical assets. Distributed points of presence, cloud infrastructure and connectivity. And what we start to see now is service providers investing on pushing this infrastructure, and especially the cloud infrastructure, further out into the network. And this will allow not only the telco workloads to run on this infrastructure, but also third-party applications for the introduction of new services. And one key aspect in this area is for service providers to work with the application ecosystem. And this may vary depending on the market situation. So why should service providers and others work with Ericsson? Ericsson has a vast track record on helping service providers in their transformation. In the introduction of new capabilities into the network, for example, we are leaders in the NFV transformation and we have already taken the first steps for the introduction of cloud native technologies and we are starting to roll out edge computing. And the key aspect here is to keep an holistic view on the end-to-end -end orchestration of this infrastructure. And this is what we mean by distributed cloud. And you will present at Mobile World Live webinar on the 24th of September. Can you share a few words on the topic? We will be discussing where the industry is today regarding edge computing. What are the early adopters doing and what are the use cases being explored? And how can service providers start monetizing on their investments in the network? We will also be sharing Ericsson's capabilities in this field and how can we support service providers in this journey. Make sure to register and join us on Mobile World Live on September 24th. Thank you to Ericsson and to Drow for the conversation. To learn more about edge computing opportunities, you can register at Ericsson's upcoming webinar at the link below. I'm Ronald Van Loon and this is The Intelligent World.